Hello, my name is Paul Brett and I would like to welcome you to this walkthrough video where I will install IBM Transformation Extender version 10 design server. Here are the basic steps for part one. The first thing you need is a Linux installation. I have created a virtual machine and installed CentOS 7.5 onto it. The second step of part one is to install and test Docker. This is accomplished through a sequence of commands, a summary of which are on screen. Here is my command line session. I'm going to issue the first of the commands listed to do an update of all the packages and their dependencies. Many of these commands take a lot of time and I have artificially shortened the sequences hopefully without losing any of the detail. I am answering yes to these are you sure prompts. And this is the final stage, the actual update, cleanup and verification process and we're done. Here is my second command where I am installing some additional packages using yum again. I'll just answer yes to the I am sure and we're done. Another yum command now. This one will add a repository to allow us to grab the docker package in the next step. The final yum command now and here we are actually installing the docker package. It's uh, a large download, 57 megabytes and once installed as you can see there 241 megabytes. Again I've shortened this sequence significantly just to move things along but now we're done. OK, three very similar commands that I'm going to issue here. The first of these is to start the Docker service. The second command is used to enable that same Docker service. And the third command is used to check on the status of the Docker service that we've just started. What we're looking for here is the magic green text active and running to show that the service is up and running. So let's issue the docker version command here just to check that everything looks good. Okay, the version is coming up fine. Now let's implement a, an example container. I'm going to uh, install the um, hello world container which will uh, install and put hello world on the screen and that will give us confidence that the docker service is up and running. And there we go, it's pulled it from the remote repository. We have on screen printed there hello from docker and the sentence underneath has the uh, magic phrase at the end working correctly. So I can be confident that this is looking good. And we're all ready for part two, installing the design server docker. OK, a little bit of housekeeping before we move on to the next step. I'm just going to show the uh, Docker containers that, that are active at the moment. And as we can see, we have the Hello World container in there. Now I want to uh, actually clear that one out, so I'm going to issue the prune command to remove it. Uh, it's not being used at the moment, so it should disappear quite happily. And if we issue the list command again, we can see it's gone. Part 2 of this demonstration is actually installing and testing the IBM Transformation Extender 10 design server as a docker image into the docker service we've just installed. The basic commands we'll be using are listed on screen. OK, this is where the fun really starts. As you can see, I have the GZ file downloaded from IBM. 
that is the design server installation. I'm using the gunzip command to unzip it and we have the raw tar file. I'm going to untar that into a subdirectory TMP just to keep it all nice and clean. And then when that's unzipped, I'm going to edit the tx-server.env file. There's a couple of entries in there that I need to check are not commented out. The first of these entries is tx underscore mongo underscore dir. So if we go to that entry now, we can see that it does have a hash at the beginning of the line, so I'm going to remove that. And the second of those entries is tx underscore file underscore dir. And in this installation, um, okay, this one's not commented out, and I'm happy with the entry that it has there. So let's uh, save that file, and we can proceed with the next step. I'm going to change to the root directory, uh, sorry, root user here, and run the install.sh script. I've, sequened, uh, I've shortened this sequence significantly. It does actually take quite some time. The next command I issue is the start.sh and this runs the four containers. It tells you that there's a command there to check on the status of those because they can take some time to actually reach a startup state. So I'm going to issue that command now and show you what happens when it's not quite ready. A little message there telling you to toddle off and have a sip of coffee. I'm now going to show you what happens when we know it's working. and We get all this text here. Let's list the dockers once more and hopefully we shall see all four dockers, uh, which we do, all up and running. Okay, I've switched to a web browser now on another machine and here I'm going to type in the IP address of the Linux VM image which is running the docker. As you can see it's come up with the login page for the ITX design server. The default password for admin is admin and we're in. There is one project installed, an example project called Process Orders. Let's just close the quick links there and you can see at the bottom we have files, connections, schemas and maps. I will open a map and there we have a map running in Docker ITX10. Thanks folks. I want to thank you all for reviewing my video. I trust that you found it interesting and informative. Please feel free to subscribe to my Twitter feed and check out my YouTube channel for other ITX related videos.